Well, I believed that. I had a friend ask me recently, why would they spend so much money gang stalking you? What's so important about you? And I tried to explain to her, it's not so much that I'm important. We were just looked at as laboratory rats. See, these criminals that are in these black programs in America do everything they want. They murder people. They molest little children. They kidnap little children and put them in the underground slave ring. They, uh... Anything they want. And these are police officers, judges, doctors, lawyers, prosecutors. It's this giant underground cabal of devil worshippers. And the taxpayers' money are going into these black programs where they're, the gang stalking is really just a beta test to see how people react under certain stimuli and punishments. They're going to roll this program out on everybody in the near, near, near future, we're talking within one to three years, they're going to cause, um, they, as in the government of America, let's be very clear, the American government's going to set off a few nukes, they're going to put up checkpoints, they're going to um, send the military out onto the streets, and they're going to start their, um, their police program, which is right now called gang stalking. So in my case, they didn't really plan on me finding out, but when I uploaded a reptilian hybrid video of my ex-girlfriend, because she had some purplish anomaly on her face, their ego sent them to the roof. So they, they, they were, they were um, testing some DARPA material on me, and at the same time you had conflict, you had some of the reptilian hybrids were upset and they were trying to murder me, like the doctor at Mercy Hospital and a few others, um, a few police officers, and um, they sent some hitmen in um, to, to my yard at 1 o'clock in the morning. Their job was to crawl up into my window to murder me in my sleep, me and my brother, and then to stage uh, suicide. Make it look like I killed my brother or he killed me. And um, it didn't go too well because I, I I got word of it through God, the Holy Spirit, when I prayed, and God gave me some additional information, which is so horrible, it would make anybody become a Christian. So I set up a safety net with my friends and family and let them know what was going on in case anything happened to me, they can get the word out to the public. Um, so to answer my friend's question is that they don't really spend like a lot of money on, on certain people. Some people they do. You take that Richard Bruce, for instance, they're spending thousands of dollars a day with helicopters flying over his motorhome in LA, Richard Bruce, um, because it costs a lot of money for, for fuel. And um, this is just, they have all the money they want. They're taking the taxpayers' money and no one's asking questions, no one's holding them accountable. So it's like, well, hey, give us the money. What is it? What we want? They're in pig heaven right now with the money. That's what's going on. And this program isn't just for me, it's for everybody. It's going to come out to, to everybody. You watching, everyone out there is going to be subject to this in the near, 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 near future. And that's why you have them acting so bold, so brazen, so arrogant. I mean, you got doctors putting space alien implants inside of patients. You have dentists putting space alien implants inside of patients. There's just, they're not afraid of anything. Because no one's going to do shit about anything. You got no one prosecuting them for this. You got police officers and CIA agents kidnapping little children, uh, murdering them, putting them in the sex slave ring. Um, you have a government that's totally out of control, and at nighttime they nitpick whoever they want to take. Whoever they want, they take. It's like a, a kid in a candy store. They say, okay, this family, this family, this family, and then they go in, they kick their door in, and they do what they want to do. And that's what's going on in America. This government is out of control. It's being ran by a 
group of criminals that worship the devil. And there's different black programs that reach on down into the community. And when you're a devil worshiper, human sacrifice is the name of the game. And that's what they do. Now, normally when they're gang stalking somebody, they're actually watching several homes at one time. So even though they sold these condos next door to me, and the military bought them out, so they, so they can test DARPA material on me, they're still like gang stalking other people in the community as well. And this isn't just a bunch of foreigners, this is actually being ran by Homeland Security, CIA, along with the US military. These are the black dark programs. And most folks would not be involved in these programs. This is like the lowest of the low. The lowest of the low. I mean, it's less than 1% are involved in these kind of programs. These programs are completely illegal, and if they were discovered, they would not only spend time, our life in prison, but a lot of these colonels would actually get the death sentence and be hanging from their neck until they're dead, dead, dead. There's laws on the books for treason and these definitely qualify for treason when they uh, attempt to murder American citizens on American soil based on their political views or their financial goals. That's why it's so important to get your heart right with Jesus Christ because they're doing this stuff right out in the open now because they're about to roll this stuff out on everybody. We are entering the last days, my friend. The Antichrist will roll out into this, under the main scene real soon. You're going to have a few nuclear bombs go off, checkpoints go up, military rolled out, secret police rolled out, death camps, prison camps, and then we're going to have some one appear to be the savior. He's going to come to fix everything. Uh, he's going to appear to be the savior. And as soon as we believe in him, he's going to crush our dreams. And that's exactly what's going on. The military government is out of control. I'm a witness to it. Last year I almost died. They tried to kill me several times. And they just don't care. This isn't personal. It's not about me. This happens all over the USA. There's many victims out there. And many murdered victims that we don't know about and will probably never ever know about because they kidnap them, they kill them, and they love to grab people that have no family, no friends, that way there's no one missing, see? So unless we get smart and organized, unless we get aggressive and organized, unless we get together and organized, this stuff is going to get worse and worse until it's at the point where there's just no way to stop it. That's the bad news. Get your heart right with Jesus Christ. God came here to earth to die for our sins. He loves you more than you'll ever understand. He's holy. And he's coming home soon. Soon this will be a, a bad dream. A bad memory. God is going to correct what's going on soon. You got that? That's a fact. Thanks for watching. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh.